What's up, YouTube? Sandy Golston back here with another BookTube video. And in this particular video, I am going to talk about the next book that I have decided to read. Today is Sunday, March the 8th that I'm filming this. You will probably end up seeing it probably March 9th or March 10th. I guess it all depends on how soon I can get it edited. But I wanted to talk about uh, the next book that I'm going to read. But to set the stage for that, the book that I just finished, File is Fair, uh, was uh, a book that I did enjoy. I was highly anticipating. I actually pre-ordered that book. And then when I got it, um, I kind of jumped into it fairly quickly after I got it. I finished up some other books that I was reading. And uh, I really enjoyed that one. I think I'm going to probably end up doing a mid-month review instead of an individual book review. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll have another book read uh, by then. And the hope is that I will have this book read by then, The First Wife by Erica Spindler. Now, some of you who know me know that I did previously read an Erica Spindler book. It was Shocking Pink, which is one of my favorite books that I read. It was actually, uh, I picked that up at a time that I was uh, getting a resurgence into reading, uh, which I had not been doing as much because I had been more focused on writing. And so it was really great uh, when I picked up Shocking Pink because I hadn't really known that much about Erica Spindler at that time, but I read it, really enjoyed it. In fact, it's one of those books I'm thinking about rereading. So uh, anyway, Sunday morning, March the 8th, and I did read the first chapter of this book, woke up, it was sitting there in bed. Uh, it was uh, one of two books that I was considering reading next. And uh, I ended up picking this one uh, because uh, I haven't read Erica Spindler in a long time. And this book was also recommended on my Instagram channel. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and jump into it. And so I read uh, the first chapter. But uh, let me give you just a little bit of the inside cover so you get a little bit of a feel for what uh, The First Wife is all about. So, a fairy tale love, a terrible past that won't stay buried a killer who may be hiding in plain sight. As a child, Bailey Brown dreamed of a storybook rescue of a knight in shining armor swooping in to bring her and her mother to a better life. After her mother died, those dreams transformed, becoming ones of a mysterious stranger who would sweep her off her feet and whisk her away from her ordinary existence to one of passion and adventure. Then suddenly, there he is, tall, dark, and wonderful. Despite the 10 year age difference and the differences in her working class upbringing and his of privilege, Logan Abbott and Bailey fall deeply in love. Marriage quickly follows. And so those last couple of sentences, that was how it really sprung me into things in the first chapter. And I've been doing some research because of my own writing about first chapters. And so um, I've been kind of scrutinizing first chapters a little bit more closely of late just to see how the, the top writers are really engaging you and hooking you right off the bat. And so in this one, I was really studying it very closely and I actually went back and reread some parts, but it was really a great first chapter. It really grabbed me, hooked me right off the bat. It kind of uh, really set the stage uh, for what uh, it seems like it is poised to become uh, in this book, uh, The First Wife. And so uh, I'm really excited about jumping into this one. It got off to a really, really good start. Um, you can see the, the cover art right there of the woman who's uh, running right there and uh, with the light at her back there. She's looking over her shoulder um, as she's running away. And so uh, just really a, a solid cover right there. And then some high praise on the back of this uh, from some, some well-known authors, including Lisa Gardner, Andrea Kane, JT Ellison. Um, there's uh, some, a review from Publishers Weekly uh, on a previous book. Um, so it, it just, it really just it just grabbed me right off the bat. And I'm actually really glad that I picked this one for my next book. Not that the other book that I picked, uh, I don't, I have no doubt uh, 
I have very little doubt that that's going to be a good one. Uh, whichever one I pick, I've got a really good stack of books that I'm looking forward to getting into. I also have a couple of highly anticipated books that are pre-ordered and, and one is scheduled to come in this week. Uh, it's scheduled to come in on March the 10th. So I'm really excited about that one. So stay tuned for that one. Can't wait to get that one. So I'm hoping to knock this one out. And if that one that's coming in on the 10th, if it's really, really good, then I'm going to maybe, uh, maybe uh, tweak my order of books, my tweak my TBR just a little bit for the month of March in 2020. And then at the end of March, uh, I believe it's like the 30th or 31st, something like that. I have another book that I'm really highly anticipating that's supposed to be coming in. And so I'm looking forward to that one as well. But I've got some great books on tap. You can check previous videos on this channel for some of the books that I'm really excited about reading. And then just stay tuned for future updates on this one. I'm hoping to have this one read in a couple of weeks. I think it's going to be a very, very fast and good, entertaining read. So I'm really looking forward to jumping into this one. Again, I got some great books on my TBR for the month of March that I'm looking forward to really uh, smashing here and uh, getting uh, back on track. I read six books in the month of January, and then I read four in the month of February. I set a Goodreads goal of 50 for the year, and so Goodreads is saying that I'm three books two or three books on track. I can't remember which one it was. It might be three. Actually, it's three because I just uh, finished another book as well at about the same time, one that was on my Kindle. So I'm on a, I'm on a good track right now with Goodreads and looking forward to that one. Uh, this one, again, off to a great start, really solid, uh, engaging first chapter, and I'm looking forward to what's more to come with Erica Spindler's The First Wife. So if you could, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd be so inclined, please hit the subscribe button as well and uh, help support the channel in any way that you can. And I'm looking forward to really excited to continuing to contribute to the BookTube community as well as to the AuthorTube community. I need to get my AuthorTube game back up strong again. But right now, I'm just kind of uh, on a good tear in terms of reading books. And The First Wife is the next one on that list.